really appreciate you joining me tonight and this story comes from Liverpool. In the past year there has been a lot of revelations coming from Liverpool in relation to the amount of guns and drugs that are imported directly by Liverpool gangsters. Two brothers went on the run to the Netherlands, have been jailed for importing an arsenal of weapons and also county lines. 30 year old Daniel Burdett and Richard Burdett, 35, both from Liverpool, were convicted of arranging the importation of 16 pistols and automatic weapons. There also included live ammunition and sound moderators. These were described by the police as hitman kits. In early 2018, Border Force found the stash of weapons and also accessories in a HGV lorry coming from Dover and killing home ducks. The National Crime Agency investigation identified a crime network responsible for using corrupt truck drivers to smuggle the firearms and ammunition from Amsterdam. Both of the brothers were linked to the seizure via DNA and fingerprints on the weapons and also the wrappings. Richard Burdett was arrested in the UK but fled to the Netherlands when he was on bail. He dyed his hair from ginger to brown. He was located with the assistance of Dutch law enforcement partners and extradited back to the UK in 2019. This also goes to show just how long these trials can take, where he's only just been sentenced the other day. Daniel Birdie, his brother, was tracked down to the Netherlands where he was living at the time. He fled the UK five years before because of a drug conspiracy by Merseyside Police. He was detained on a European arrest warrant on Christmas Day 2019 as he sat down to eat his dinner at a five-star restaurant at The Hague. And you may remember from the previous coverage this month of Jerry Hutch, this is exactly what they did to him. They arrested him while was eating dinner this is something they like to do to make an example that they will get you when you least expect it daniel was extradited back to the uk and nca officers charged him and put him on trial alongside his brother the pair were found guilty of firearm importation and ammunition at Manchester Crown Court on the 30th of August. Richard was also convicted for fraudulent UK passports, which is what he used to actually travel around the world escaping the police. His brother Daniel pleaded guilty to conspiracy to supply cocaine in relation to the Merseyside Police investigation. Daniel Birdie has been jailed for 25 years and his brother Richard was sentenced to 18. The NCA commander Richard Harrison said this was a significant significant quantity of lethal weapons that would reach the criminal marketplace and no doubt have a big impact on the violence in the communities. This was a collaboration between Border Force, the Dutch Police, the Royal Military Dutch Police and Merseyside Police that helped them to bring them to justice. This is the third time that I've covered brothers from Merseyside that are running operations on this scale. The other cases were the Tobin brothers who ran a drug empire and also the Cullen twins who ran a drug and a firearm empire. The Tobin supplied hundreds of kilos of cocaine, ketamine and cannabis and they traded across the United Kingdom. Police intercept a van containing 186 kilos valued at 20 million pound in 2018 this was a massive factor of the gang's demise because man i get wig where they come from military artillery don't know where the guns from one sec let me holler at me brum done send me something down that you couldn't even run from and i never had a parent to me name going up so we had to pick trap not gang but that don't mean on occasion that i haven't had to make it bang when it went bang the plug got rang i'm on the man because someone sang and he would the wife got trust issues when i got left out to hang the police seized an expensive collection of watches and jewellery at their addresses and recovered 90 grams of cocaine from a neighbouring garden and initially charged them with possession of that. But due to EncroChat revelations, they was able to get a bigger conspiracy. Both of the brothers used EncroChat and they discussed over 73 kilos of heroin, 83 kilos of cocaine and 57 kilos of ketamine between the months of March and May 2020. The police believed that they sold over 4.8 million pounds worth of drugs and this was only revealed from EncroChat as well as the Cullen twins as well who were found in the biggest arsenal ever discovered by Cheshire police. Leon Cullen actually fled the country and went to Dubai where he was eventually extradited and jailed. I covered both of these stories on the channel and they've got nearly a quarter of a million views so if you want to understand more about them cases and the dynamics don't forget to check that out. Firearms like the one seen in this episode make their way to other cities like Birmingham and London as well. 70 firearms have been taken off the streets of Birmingham in the past year and over 400 in London. In a recent stop that I showed on the Instagram, police in Lewisham recovered a submachine gun Scorpion on the streets of South London.
So this goes to show that more serious firearms are making their way onto the streets and being used eventually by gang members. So I really appreciate you joining me for this episode. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news and follow me online as well at Scar City Studios on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Peace. It hasn't been uh, looked at in isolation. It's part of our ongoing commitment to deal with those involved in serious and organised crime.